Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about the Mizano test that just happened. But first let's start with how they finished today. So the combined times, Alicia Spagro was first, Vignale second, Quattararo third, Polo Spagro fourth, Bastanini fifth, Bagnaia sixth, Martin seventh, Rins eighth, Digiantonio ninth, Marini tenth, Vesecchi eleventh, Morbidelli 12th, Brad Binder 13th, Jack Miller 14th, Johan Zarco 15th, Miguel Oliveira 16th, Marc Marquez 17th, Raul Fernandez 18th, Alex Marquez 19th, Nakagami 20th, Michele Piro 21st, Stefan Bradl 22nd, Remy Gardner 23rd, Darren Binder 24th, Danny Petrosa 25th, Lorenzo Salvadori 26th, Dominic Agutter 27th and Andrea De Vizioso 20. Now I'm going to start and do Yamaha, Honda, KTM and a little bit on Andrea De Vizioso but if I look at Yamaha first the first thing that I've noticed is is that they are running two different frames and I do know that they are running the new 2023 engine with a little bit more horsepower. So they have tweaked the frame for this. Whether that is to tweak the frame to get the engine in, I don't know. But you can see that there are one little clear difference where the frame is not as flat as it used to be. You can see this better actually on Franco Morbidelli's bike because he is using a chrome frame on his 2023 spec engine, I believe, rather than just the black one. But here you will also see the only major visual on the outside is, is that the winglet on the side is slightly larger and you can see it here in, in the highlighted color. That winglet is slightly larger and I would presume that's in tune with having more horsepower. Honda on the other hand have brought every single engineer from Japan with them. They're also trying a whole load of new aerodynamic devices. The first one that I saw this morning was the front wing and that kind of resembles the Aprilia front wing. I also noticed that they are using the scoops in the belly pan just like Ducati. And then I also saw this morning that they are using the kind of hammerhead belly pan like Aprilia do for ground effect. So they are really, really hunting on the aerodynamic side. Now also you can see with Bradle, Bradle is the one that is doing the testing of the new Calyx swing arm. And yes, it was tested by Bradle and Bradle only. Mark did seem to be out just doing his aerodynamic device. He did ride different aerodynamic devices, but he just seemed that he was focusing on his riding only. He didn't take part in the afternoon session, but he did say that there was no problem with the arm do you know what I mean? He was able to get into a, a nice position on the bike and he was quite happy with the work that he'd done in the morning. He, as I said, he didn't ride in the afternoon and that's probably, you know, I once remember Pecco saying after nine laps, his first time back on a MotoGP bike, he was absolutely destroyed. So, you know, he said there is a small chance that he could ride in Aragon, but it's way too early to tell. Up next was KTM. Now, Danny Pedrosa was leading the way on the development here, and you could see that he was actually back-to-backing the 23 bike versus the 22 bike. And, you know, he was definitely trying to figure out which one or what is the direction between the two of them coming in and then hopping onto a different bike. You will see the different images, and what you will most note about, say, the 23 version or the all-carbon rear end is the aerodynamics that are covering the exhaust. There's also little grills there as well, and I'm sure they're hunting for more downforce in the middle of the corners, and it's quite a, an interesting uh, concept that they have. Not sure is it going to work, um, but it is definitely interesting. Andrea De Vizioso only completed 16 laps within the test but he was trying a brand new helmet that seems to be from alpine stars and uh, i believe this was his surprise that he was telling us um so it's interesting to see it 
Um, I don't have much news on Ducati or Aprilia yet because I, w I do want to dive into them a little bit more. I do know Ducati were working on some sort of hold shot device with the clutch. Um, but I will dig into that a little bit more and hopefully be able to update you tomorrow with it. Um, but I thought it was a great and interesting day's testing. Uh, I've shared a couple of videos also about with some of the action um, and I'm also going to be live streaming the live timing tomorrow and there's a big chat going on during that. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of today's test so far? Are you disappointed there was no V4 from Yamaha? What do you think of Honda's updates? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.